Hi, welcome back. Or if you're just joining, my name is Maya and welcome to my channel, Cranley Place, where I'm posting content on scarf style, knot tutorials, and more. In this video, I'll talk about my top scarf picks from Hermes's Fall Winter 2023 collection. Admittedly, this season has been a bit different for me, at least, in that it wasn't one in which my first impulse was that I wanted all of them. <laughs> but I did find some favorites, which I'll share with you now. Let's get started. If you've been following my channel, you'll know I say this every season, but it bears repeating. Scarf selection is highly personal, depending on your tastes, colors you like, budget, you name it. We all have different priorities. I typically like to wait a bit to get as close as possible a picture of what designs are available and especially the colorways before I make any decisions. And with my collection being the product of many years now, I try to avoid color and pattern overlap as much as possible. Also, if there are certain formats that I only have a few of, that also factors into my decisions. Obviously, what drives your choices may be very different. That said, here are my top picks from the fall-winter 2023 season. This was one of the scarf designs I covered early in the season. It's a 90 centimeter silk twill called Cavalier en Forme by Italian artist and illustrator Gianpaolo Pagni. He is known for his experimentation with different media such as painting, decoupage, engraving, lithography, and as we've seen in many of his Hermes scarf designs, stamp drawing. The design itself is inspired by equestrian lithographs from the Majorie de Nancy, conserved in the Emile Hermès collection. What draws me to this one is the representation of the writer's silhouettes in Cubist style. Cubism, as you may know, was a revolutionary new approach to representing reality invented around 1907-08 by artists Pablo Picasso and Georges Braque. I also like the asymmetry of it, which is sure to yield some interesting variations depending on how it's folded and tied. Also, I surprisingly don't have any scarves yet by this artist in my collection, so I am very interested at this point in trying on the camel, orange, and brick colorway. Here's another one of my favorites for the season. It's a double face by longtime Hermes artisan Cathy Latam and relative newcomer Jeff Fisher. The original design, Brandenburg by Cathy Latam, was originally issued in 1972 and is inspired by drawings of military uniforms in the Emile Hermes collection. It features the ornamental braids used as buttonholes that originated in Brandenburg, Germany. Australian artist Jeff Fisher has added his creative viewpoint by entwining the original designs in florals. Now, aside from the fact that this is a double face, I really love this juxtaposition of the elaborate military uniform and the flowers. While in some ways it may seem symmetrical, the details add a lot of visual interest, which make it anything but. At any rate, my personal favorite at this point is the Blujon Tabac and Anthracite colorway, and although I have been trying to avoid more blues, I wonder if I might justify it with the colorfulness of the second side. We'll see. I have to try it on. Here is another 90 centimeter silk twill double face on my wish list. Now, what attracts me to this one? First, I love the versatility of the double face scarves. Really, it's two colorways in one, right? Second, the asymmetry of the design, which will change the look based on how you fold and tie it. And third, I've been swooning over one colorway in particular from the start. Which one? 
My favorite is the Ver Anthracite Marine Orange, which again, I realize has the blue hues that I'm trying desperately to avoid, but I love that deep green contrasted with the orange backside. Again, we'll see. I have to try it on. The third double face silk twill among my top picks here is this one by Jin Kwan. Who doesn't love some wild cats? Well, maybe some people, but I certainly appreciate the majesty of these feral hunters. Although in this vignette, they're doing perhaps what leopards do best after hunting, that is, they're lazing about. Aside from being attracted to the design, this is an artist from whom I've never collected anything. Second, it's a double-faced. And third, it's got contrast hems. That seems like a perfect combination in my book. My favorite colorway at this point is the blue, beige, and jaune. Again, with the blue, nominally at least, but the teal and khaki combo on the one side is something that caught my eye from the very start. Next up on my wish list is this 100 centimeter cashmere from the men's collection by Fashion Ijama. According to the backstory on Hermes.com, it's a mysterious modern rider wearing a dog collar and bracelets from Hermes's collections and holding a whip with lashes that metamorphose into snake-like motifs. Part magician, knight, gardener, and more is how they describe this motorbike rider. Personally, I still stand by my original interpretation of this design where I see many samurai elements, which were, in fact, a big draw for me to this design in the first place. If you've been following my channel, you've heard me talk about designs that are symmetrically asymmetrical, and certainly this one falls in that category. Because of that, it is sure to make some interesting looks just based on how you choose to fold and knot the scarf. That, plus the contrast hems, make it a top choice for me. And last but not least on my wish list for the season is this giant cashmere triangle, Masan and Masan. It's based on a design originally issued as a 90 centimeter silk twill by one of the six winners of the Grand Prix du Cache Hermes launched in 2019. Taking inspiration from an ancestral art form in Thailand, the designer depicts horses woven from dried water hyacinths. The scarf's title actually means woven horse in Thai. Why is this one on my list? First, I've always been a fan of the design but didn't collect the 90 centimeter silk twill because I wasn't fully in love with any of the colorways. Second, this cashmere giant triangle format is one that I enjoy for both its size and how lightweight it feels. Also, I only have one other cashmere giant triangle in my collection. If you haven't seen my video on ways to tie this format, I'll put a link in the upper corner here. So there you have it, my top scarf picks from the Fall Winter 2023 collection by Hermes. 
Please like and share the video if you enjoyed it and let me know what you think in the comments. In future episodes, I'll share other scarf reviews, tutorials, and more, so be sure to subscribe to be notified of new videos. Thanks again for joining me today. Until next time!